Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chris. Taryn. And today we're gonna to talk about my birthday, which happened um, in February before the whole COVID thing took over, so. Pisces. A week before my birthday, we went to another house party. It was another birthday. <laughs> It was one of those like you know like all the the downtown guys i don't know i feel like i i stereotyped them a little bit but they're always a lot more standoffish and it was definitely like when you walk into a room you can kind of tell like what the vibe is and if you like fit in there and it was it was what i used to call the the plaid and beard gays because they always wear plaid and have beards mask for mask they don't talk to anyone that doesn't really look like them and we walked in and we were like kind of trying to be friendly but nobody was really giving us the time of day right yeah no one would even like look at us like they would kind of look over and we'd be like and they just like turn around like not even acknowledge us a lot of people rely on visual cues like how you look how you dress to sort of figure out if they want to engage with you which is really shallow but which is my point it's shallow so i just think people should be nicer to each other but um it's fine this isn't my first rodeo i we found our own people there and we found our we made our own fun yeah so we went to um this place called the tiki shameful tiki shameful tiki <laughs> Uh, it's really fun. There's decorations everywhere. There's like fog machines and a volcano. Yeah, and they brought us um, this drink and then lit it on fire in front of us. And then we drank it with like these long straws and we were like basically all drinking out of this giant bowl. So then next we had my actual party at my house. Happy birthday! Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's the cake. Oh, I got and the you. cake. This other guy said he was gonna bring a cake, and Taryn forgot, and luckily ordered one anyways, because that guy didn't show up. <laughs> yes, and it was a carrot cake. Cause Chris it was loves a carrot cake. cake. It was really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. But of course, when you have cake at a gay party, no one eats it. No one. Well, the trick is to make really small slices, like just like. Mm -hmm the thinnest slices ever because if you try to give people big slices they just won't eat it and it's a waste of cake so if you're having a gay party in the city don't try to shove dessert down people's throats yes thanks for coming over and watching drag race all those times thanks for having me over to watch drag race let me tell you something i'm so excited it's your birthday happy birthday and uh hey to many more um you're what like 35 now <laughs> Like 50. Chris <laughs> is super awesome. I hope his birthday is awesome. And I hope he realizes that he actually made an impact in my life. I don't know how to say that. And I fell in love with a man on a cruise <laughs> two months ago. Oh my god, this guy, this guy is so funny because he, I was like, birthday message and he starts talking about like depressing stuff oh great a couple whiskey pepsis for me to realize that i loved him make the leap because you're not going to find connection as much as you think you are so make the leap a what connection actual connection okay you know the connection sure you're not gonna find it he didn't even know. I don't think he knew that we were dating. You're not gonna find it as much as you think you will. Right. Good luck. Cool. Yeah. Happy That's birthday, birthday to me. Hey Chris, I love you. Um, there's one thing I love about you. The first thing was you look like Rob Lowe. Although, 100% like the new gem. You're like a Taylor Swift, um, the new. Anyway, happy birthday. You have the best energy for everything. Chris, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I got me a pretty shiny thing and I love that. Hi Ty. Hi, Ty. If you're watching this. Oh, a cuddle puddle. Of course. No. Happy birthday, motherfucker! But there was this one guy who showed up that, like, didn't even talk to me. And the thing is, I knew who he was, but I didn't, like, invite him. Someone else brought him. But I've known him for years because we always end up going to the same parties and stuff. Happy birthday, Chris. We love you. You're the best. Oh, you're we so love good. you so much. You're so sweet. He didn't say happy birthday. I don't even think he said hi to me. When he walked through the door, I was standing there at the door. I was there. Like, we made eye contact. He knew I was there. And he just, like... I've run into him a couple of times, and I've been, like... But it's always, like... But then don't come to my birthday. Ah. Uh... 
Stick it to the right. So that was my birthday. It's really fun. 10 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll hopefully talk to you guys again soon. Hopefully you're all staying safe and everyone is not going crazy. Bye. Did you have a good time? Did you know what you feel like? Uh, <laughs>